Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today for you, we're covering uh, my grandest deck. I have gone undefeated with this deck. I have gone against the Mirror Match. I've gone against Black Wargram on X. Uh, I have dropped a few games, but those were only due to like my opponent, uh, like the Mirror Match opening the absolute god hand right in the beginning and just outpace me um but for the most part i well for the actual part i have not dropped a single match with this deck i think it's incredibly powerful completely counters black or graymon x um but if your opponent drops an omnimon x the bt5 one you, you suffer. I don't have an out for that, um, unfortunately. Um, but most of the time, that's a very difficult thing for them to get into fast enough um, and, you know, reliably. Um, so if they can't do that, then this deck will actually roll over them. It does also struggle against the classic matchup, like the Guru Room on X, um, things like that. It will still suffer against those, unfortunately. Bit of a bummer. Um, but just because they're they can outpace it, they can basically win with just level fives. They need less pieces as uh, Grandis does. But um, for a BT11 format where we expect expect a lot of Black War Grim on X, this is the perfect counter to that deck. Absolutely. Also, don't forget about our featured memory marker this month. We got Poyo Mon here. So this is handmade out of clay, hand painted as well by my wife, uh, Digi Miyu. So you can find her Etsy page, link in the description below. This is just one of the best memory markers she's ever made. I just love the colors. They absolutely pop. So great to have on the board. Just really good board presence. Uh, always a fan favorite for whoever sees this. Um, they always want one. Those eyes are super, super cute. Um, yeah, so you can find that on our Etsy page, as well as all of her previous memory markers that she's uh, featured on our channel in the past as well. All right, so I got the whole deck uh, pulled up for you guys so you can follow along with us here. And then at the end, we do have two flex spots that will be uh, these cards down here. I've got just three different ones listed. Whichever one you prefer, you can run two of, which we'll go ahead and cover, well, which we will cover at the very end. Um, so that's why it's 51 of 50 cards at the top. Uh, first up, we got Yoko Mon here, which is just a really great card. Puts uh, you Digiburst this away, and you're going to get that 2K buff. Put your Grandis at 18K, but also Grand at 13K, which does come up. There's been a few instances where I've needed to just Digiburst this away, swing with my Grand Kawagamon to clear something, and then on a following turn, like, because I don't have the memory to go into Grandis or whatever, and it just, I need that DP buff to clear whatever threat is on field. And getting that little bit of buff uh, does actually come up. So I am uh, very thankful for that. Also, trying a new filming technique here. If there's any kind of weirdness or problems, please let me know. Um, if there's, like, any kind of delay, which there might be on my face, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, next up, we got our rookie patch package here. I got the... BT10 Kukuomon, um, just the inheritable of gaining a memory when you delete something by battle. Um, that's really great. Uh, we have plenty of ways to get plenty of sources underneath our guys. So you don't always have to digiburst everything away, right? You basically only need to digiburst four things underneath Grand to get security attack plus two because you're going to basically swing twice, clearing six security worth of stuff. Depending on the matchup, maybe if I'm going against security control, I might just go all out and go as much as possible um, because you never know like all the recovery cards that you could hit like Holy Wave or Tactical Retreat. Um, but you don't always have to digiburst everything away. So... Um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, next, we got the Kukuomon X. Great card to G evolve on top of it for just more draw power as well as the search. Be careful in search, though, because you can reveal too many things that you need and bottom deck important things. So uh, just be careful on your timing on these. Um, just because you have it doesn't mean you should use it. Um, just You shouldn't always just hard play it, you know, if you're going to risk bottom decking too much stuff. Um I like to just kind of save these until I'm like digging for specific pieces. Uh, next, and that, that'll do it for our core uh, rookie package there. Next is our uh, utility, which is really great that we can run this much utility um, and it doesn't conflict with our strategy, right? We don't have to run all these other cards that are like pivotal to our strategy. We can just run tons of tech cards absolutely phenomenal uh i've got three terriermon here just for that the blocking of memory in your blue matchups this is a hundred percent one of those cards you want to get in play as fast as possible um guru x you know they got their hammer sparks and everything else uh, ice walls and security just turning off all that is really really good um 
But for other matchups, I like the Palmumon here. Uh, players can't play Digimon by effects against Mastamon. This is great. Mas turns off Mastamon's whole like gimmick, which is really great. Um, but in addition to that, Flame Hellscythe, this is also the perfect counter card to Flame Hellscythe. If you're not familiar, Flame Hellscythe minus 6,000 DP on a Digimon, and then play a yellow or purple Digimon from your trash with 6,000 DP or less. Um, so typically, they'll... they'll what they'll try to do to you is play Flame Hellside to kill this. The DP minus goes to zero, but the card has to finish resolving all of its effects before game mechanics of the DP minusing deletes this guy. So just keep that in mind. Don't let people try to cheat you and play Flame Hellside to kill this and then play something. The card has to finish resolving all of its effects before game mechanics deletes your Digimon. So this is a fantastic card to the mass today matchup. Um, also the Jessmon matchup. If you're if you have to deal with any Jessmon players, uh, this just turns off their whole strategy. Being able to play all those sister mons, getting all those effects, especially modern ways to play Jessmon. Like maybe old school Jessmon could get away with it, but uh, new Jessmon absolutely has to have those effects um, to trigger all those abilities. So it must have uh, counter to the Jessmon matchup as well. So really, really cool stuff uh, to be able to run that much tech in our deck. So we got Weedmon here, uh, fantastic piece for the deck. Um, you're pretty much your go-to level four that you want to see immediately in your stack. Just that Digiburst gain one memory. Plenty of times your opponent will like try to choke you if you don't have a memory fixer. And so you'll go into your grand for two. Now you're at zero. You don't have that memory to go into grand disc to you know get your full combos going. So Digibursting this away, giving that one extra bonus memory. So good, so worth it. Um, I've got three Kabuteri Mon. Mostly this is just a one Evo cost. You could maybe drop this for something else that's a one Evo cost, but I think just having a couple blockers in here isn't bad, especially for like rogue matchups. Like, say you're playing against D Brigade, just throwing down a Kabuteri Mon in that matchup, right? You play your Kakua Mon Searcher and then just Digivolve this uh, Kabuteri Mon just to deal with all that rookie nonsense. Um, the great stuff. This deck doesn't have a whole lot of defensive powers, um, so just a little bit of blocker there in those uh, kind of niche situations, just stopping those stupid little pokey security check kind of decks. Um, really, really good for that. Um, but I am running four of the Metal Kabuteri Mon. I love this. Absolutely, this is my four of. People are trying, experimenting all these different engines and, and things like that, running like all these Kakuamon cards and like uh, things like that, and I'm just not about it. The Metal Kabuteri Mon, one Evo cost on top of another level four. I can go four Metal Kabuteri Mons in a row, one after another on top of each other, and just draw, 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 draw. One, one memory to draw a card, one memory to draw a card. Like that's the best thing in this game you can do. Um, and as well as it gives us a ton of inheritables that we can digi burst, digi burst away for our Grand Ko uh, Koagamon. I love this guy. And then as well as hybrid for game, like plenty of times I've just, I've literally won off this guy, two Evo costs on top of a Mimi, and I just win the game outright. Um, so yeah, the, the, absolutely, this is my go-to for my other level four. Um, I see other people running like Davis and things like that, and I'm like, I just can't r argue running Davis if I'm running all these Metal Kabuteri Mons for this draw power that it gives me, and so capitalize on running Mimi and then run the Metal Kabuteri Mon for go hybrid for game. Absolutely, 100%. That is the play to do. Uh, next, we got our uh, Akuamon package here, which is pretty much self-explanatory. First, you'll go into this one, uh, and then it, this gives you your piercing inheritable. But also, when this one digivolves, uh, when this Digimon becomes susp all your opponent's Digimon gain, um, when it becomes suspended, they uh, lose one memory. So you digivolve your X antibody here on top of it, and when digivolving, if you have a cool mon or X antibody and its traits, uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, so that'll immediately trigger that. So you digivolve this for zero, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, boom, gain a memory. So that's really great. Um, and then when you digivolve on top of this guy into an insectoid, it reduces the digivolution cost by one. So then you're going to go into your uh, Grand Koagamon on top of that. So this is going to be a two Evo cost. So you just gained a memory. Um, so say your opponent puts you at one, you digivolve your X Antibody Akuamon, gain a memory. Now you're at two. And then digivolve into this guy for two. Digiburst away. Uh, digiburst that Weedmon uh, gives you a memory back. Now you're at one. I mean, literally, you can full combo with your opponent putting you at one memory. Like, that's really, really, really so uh, solid there. So you're going to digiburst all that, get your security attack plus whatever. I mean, literally, the 
let's see how many can we go. We go Yokomon, Kakuamon, Kakuamon X. Let's go Weedmon. Let's go for our four uh, Metal Kabuterimons. Now we're at eight. Uh, we got Akuamon, Akuamon X. That's 10 inheritables. You can digi burst away. That's security attack plus five. Uh, that is 12 security checks with Grandis. I don't know in what world you need that, but the fact that you can like get plus four or five, that means that Grandis can do a full clear on that first swing, unsuspend, swing for game. Okay, it, it, it happens. It's a little bit more rare, but I have had, I've literally won off of just Grandis and don't need a secondary attacker to win me the game. Um, that those feel really good. Those situations feel really, really good. And so, yeah, we've also got the Grandis here. And remember, when he uh, digivolves, uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. You gain another memory back, right? If, you're, if your Kakuamon X, Akuamon X is still alive, you know, you're getting that uh, ability there. Or the Akuamon, the regular one, sorry. Um, you know, you're going to keep getting that memory every time you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Um, and then end of attack, if Grand Kawagamon or X anybody is in this Digimon's Diffusion cards, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and unsuspend this Digimon. Yeah, that unsuspend is important. But also, you're suspending something else. So you can literally gain three memory in one turn um, because of uh, because of this ability right here. So don't forget about this. Like, that's a ton of memory. Like, three memory is a big deal. I mean, you gain three memory back uh, off of all of that. Boom. That's that's literally hybrid for game right there, if you if you want to think about that. Mimi's on field. You start at three. You go into a Kuomon, gain a memory. Uh, you're at four. Digivolve into Gran. Um, Gran. Uh, you're going to Digiburst, uh, you go down to two, Digiburst the Weedmon, so now you're back up to three, Evo for one, into the Grandis, uh, suspend something, go up to three, swing, unsuspend, suspend something else, now you're at four, you know, now you can do some digging and some searching, get into that, uh, you know, dig, dig into for a Metal Kabuteri Mon if you need, and then go hybrid for game. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, we're running the Mimis in here. Uh, one of the most busted tamers. This and Davis are literally the two best tamers I think ever printed in this entire game. Um, and this deck literally has access to both if you want. I am running four green memory boosts. Yes, I am running four of these um, just to dig. Because this whole format is about who can who can pop off first. If you're playing the mirror match, it is literally a race against time. And if you got green memory boost, that is just one big turn waiting to happen right um uh, again uh, the re big reasons to run terrier mon is also for that mirror match preventing them from being able to just pop three green memory boost and going up to like six you know seven memory very important because then they can't combo off um but if they're not going to do that tech against you green memory boost absolutely you know I can have like the most la green memory boost after green memory boost after green memory boost, and it feels like I'm breaking like crazy. But after that many green memory boosts, I'm probably doing pretty good. So when it comes to my turn where I've still got my rookie and raising area, oh, I've got three, four memory boosts on field. Let me just promote this uh, rookie uh, rook rookie up and then digivolve and just go full combo because I'm popping green memory boost, gaining memory. Yeah, it feels really, really good. I'm absolutely 100% on running four of this. It is a race against time. Okay, that's all these matchups are if you're playing against uh guru x it's a race if you're playing against um black or green one x it can become a race if they're running the uh bt5 omnimon x if they stick that you're you're toast you just scoop it up and go to the next game um so it's a race against that uh, if you're in the mirror match it's another race okay all three of those literally some of the most popular Actually, they pretty much all pretty much are the most popular uh, decks of the format. They're all just a race to see who pops off first. And uh, so four memory boost in is definitely the way to go for me. Now, this last little bit is our uh, our flex spots. We've got two spots left in the deck. Um, I've tried out multiples. I've tried out all of these. Um, X Antibody is a neat one. If you don't have like the Weedmon, you're at zero memory. I can swing with my Grand Kawagamon, use my X Antibody to uh, Digivolve into Grandis, and then uh, for one Evo, right? And uh, if I suspend something, maybe I gain that memory back. That puts me back to zero, so it doesn't pass. You know, that kind of still full combo. Uh, X Antibody's felt really good. Uh, probably the one I, I play the most. Um, just because of those those situations where it comes up. It's like I can't combo off if I can't get into my Grandis because I don't have enough memory. And this just ensures that I can get that combo. Uh, Grandel Soul, I'm always just a big fan of running 
removal options in my deck, like the big ones, the big boy removals, like uh, Kakaitis Breath, uh, Gaia Force, and now Green says Grandel Soul, so you're going to suspend something, and then bottom deck, a suspended Digimon. What's really nice about that is you can suspend one thing, and then bottom deck something else entirely um, that's also suspended, which hitting in security is really great because you're going to suspend something that hasn't attacked yet, and then probably bottom deck something else that's you know suspended already, especially if it's got multiple security attack. So a uh, pretty solid card, but it doesn't help with the strategy of the deck. Um, that's why I've opted not to play it anymore. Well, I, not in this deck, in Grandis. I don't I don't opt to play it in Grandis anymore because it does not help with anything in our strategy. It's mostly just a, I'm losing. He has a mega on field before I did, uh, and I don't have my mega combo yet. So I've got to get rid of that and you know put them back a couple turns. But the issue is the most popular decks or the deck in the next format is black or gray one x which can dodge grandel soul it's got you know prevention uh deletion prevention bottom deck prevention things like that and the last card is davis um it is just another consistency card we're already maxed out on four green memory boost which i definitely prefer over the davis dig for four and use that memory boost at any point to gain me more memory back to like have this a super nutty turn I like the green memory boost more, but if you still just want to have more consistency searching, you do have two flex spots left. Uh, you can run the Davis just for a reveal three at a green Digimon. Okay. It is a memory fixer, but I 100% rather just have Mimi as my memory fixer just because I can use her. Um, suspend, hatch, suspend, uh, Evo into a rookie, suspend a second Mimi, promote up that rookie swing for game. Um, over over the davis but again the davis is a good a little consistency boost as well in addition to what um, we already have but i think the x antibody just kind of comes out a slightly just a little bit more I, it really comes down to what's your personal preference do you just want to run the more davis for more search power or do you want the x antibody for those really clutch situations I, I just i really like the x antibody for those clutch situations i just it, it does come up way more than i would probably prefer but um it's still still solid. Um, either way, though, 48 cards right here. I think this is absolutely the way to go. I, I will not change this for for anything. I've watched other people play. I don't like their list as much. I'm like, I 100% feel like my list is better than anyone else's. Um, and the, I haven't dropped a game yet with it. Or I haven't dropped a match yet with it. So I really feel super solid with this one. Um, yeah, it's just whatever you prefer and uh, to close it out with. And that will do it for this. Again, if uh, this video is kind of weird or anything like that, please put it in the comment section below uh, if I need to sw swap back or, or try to figure out what the, what the problems are with this uh, recording situation.